back to my channel. So today I want to invite you guys all to come on my 2017 Christmas home tour with me. And I'm doing this in a collaboration with some other great YouTubers. I'm going to include the links to everybody down below in the description box, so be sure to go check out their channels. And if you're here from one of them, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's get started on the tour. So here we are in the living room, and I'm going to start right here with the couch. I just went with some red and white pillows. The ones on the ends are IKEA. They're part of a duvet set, and I just uh, shortened them with the sewing machine. And the other two are from H&M from previous years. And I love this little setup here on the end table. So this is just a wooden box that I made in a Home Depot workshop. The sign came from Hobby Lobby. And that Santa came from a local consignment store. I think I picked him up like two years ago and I paid $7 for him and I just love him. And then this is this year's Target Dollar Spot Tree. And then I just added some green books and some red beads next to that. Now over here on this side of the TV. So I kept my dog books here. I liked the way they look. They have a lot of red and I liked the white chippy corbels on the end. And then on this sign here, I just added some garland. And this is part of one of those Michaels ones. I bought extra, that way I would have one to at least cut apart and use on small pieces like this. And I just love how simple that looks. And then on the other side is where I have my cubby shelf. So I just went ahead and put some branches down on the bottom. And I used the olive bucket from this year's Target dollar spot with some more branches. And these branches all came from Target. I found them on clearance on an end cap a few years ago. I have a little cross stitch here. And then in my cubby shelf, on top I went with cameras. And I know they're not traditionally Christmas, but I feel like it's kind of like about capturing memories and that's what Christmas is to me. So I went ahead and put them in the display because I liked how it turned out. That's a little reindeer by Lefton, and I've had him since I was maybe like three, two or three. I just remember every year my green reindeer was like the one thing that I had to have out. Another camera. That's a Holt Howard pepper shaker. That was the first vintage camera I ever collected. That's a little tree ornament, and it was a birdhouse. I just turned it backwards so it looks like a barn more. A white Santa mug. My Christmas geese, and these are from a few years ago. I picked up a set of them at a yard sale and gave some to my grandma and one to my mom. So we all now have a Christmas goose to kind of put out. I did the same thing this year with the Magnolia Hearth and Hand Bell. And in here, this fell apart. I had a red truck with a tree on it. There we go. And I picked him up at like a local store for a dollar. And I just rested the tree on. And then here I have another Santa mug. Now on my little love seat, I just have two pillows. This one I keep out year round because I love it so much. It's a green sack that I found at the Salvation Army. And I turned it into a pillow cover. And then this one here, this came from... JC Penny, and it was back before I was really big into home decor. It was one of those coupon deals, and I ended up paying, I think, like five or six dollars for it. And I still love it. It's like one of those hand hooked pillows. I kept it simple here with just some red and green books. And then on my little mirror here, I just hung some knit mittens. And those are a Kmart ornament from two years ago. Over here on the other side. For right now, I have some just rolled up book pages in that cloche. I have a feeling it's going to change. But right now, that's what we're working with. And then I have a little bottle brush forest going on. The tall one is from Target, and those are ones that I made. And then this was also a Kmart ornament. I just cut the little loop off of it. So over here, 
I moved Macy's bed for now because she's been sleeping in the little uh, end table bed that I made. That's her favorite spot right now. You can see her ear there in the corner. So I've just got the fireplace over in this corner. And this bench back behind the tree is actually not staying. I love it, but I'm holding it right now for my mom. It's going to go in her dining room. I redid it for her. Um, it was in my grandfather's basement. So I sanded the whole thing down and refinished it, added a little bit of paint on the legs, um, and then it's going to go in her dining room. So in the middle of this all I have the tree, and I have it just in a galvanized bucket. I didn't put anything around the bottom this year. Last year I did some plaid fleece, but I think for now I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to add in some more vintage toys. And then next to it, I have that horse that I picked up last year at TJ Maxx. I loved him when I saw him. Our store still had layaway at the time, so I put him on layaway like instantly. And then I paid him off, and when he was fully paid off and came home, I was so happy. And then over here, that's Jordan. And he's sleeping right now. I'm getting ready to go to work, so he's locked up. He can't stay out loose during the day because it just wouldn't be safe. But he's got a new fleece bed cover and a new fleece blanket. And I picked those up at Kmart on Black Friday for $1.99 each. And then I went ahead and just did a garland around this case opening. And this is one of my favorite things that I did this year. I've never done the garlands like this before. I did one in my kitchen window once, but not lit and pretty like this. So. That's my living room. Let's head into the dining room. So this is the dining room and this is probably my favorite room in the house this season. So on the table here I just went with the hearth and hand runner and in my dough bowl I put some faux greenery and some rolled up book pages and then those little tea lights that I showed you guys. On the wall here I have my ladder and I just hung a rusty jingle bell strand over it and that was from Hobby Lobby last year. I've got the candles in the windows. In between the two windows, I'm going to try and get rid of the glare. I have a pair of children's skis that I picked up at a Christmas market. And then one of the fun things I did this year out there on the window box that I just put in over the summer. I just stuffed some real greens. I went out in the woods and just cut some stuff down and then just poked them into the pots that were there. And then I have some solar lights on. I don't know if they work yet, so my fingers are crossed. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. So over here on my bookshelf, the bottom stayed the same. I added some Christmas stuff here, so just a little bit of fake greens and then some houses from the Target dollar spot. Um, two of them are from this year and then one is from last year. That shelf stayed the same except for that little piece of greenery I added. And then up here I added the shiny bright boxes. My two reindeer from Target. On the letter board I just made it say merry and bright for right now and hung a little mitten string over the top. So I did some garland in this doorway too because like I said this is like I became obsessed with garlands this year. So this is one of the Walmart garlands. This is I think they call it Rochester Pine and this one I really like. It was six dollars I think for nine feet but like it's really realistic looking from far away. And then I just put a string of lights in it and then the little stocking advent calendar. So my very favorite part is my hutch. This was like the first thing I decorated this season. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the top and I will work my way down and show you guys. So up top I put my mercury glass trees and that little crate behind them just stays there. I had that there over the summer too. That Santa head came from Michaels. I got it on Black Friday. They were doing 50% off of Christmas and then 30% off your entire order, including sale items. So I picked him up for like $7. And he's just hollow plastic, so he's not heavy. 
but I was so thrilled with him. And then that garland hanging over came from Factory Direct Crafts. And that's one of the ones I splurged on a little this year. It was like $25, I think. But it's so realistic looking. And then over here, I have my tools container with some rolling pins and my thermoses. So in the hutch, I wanted to keep it simple and do pretty much just ironstone and stuff. So I'm going to start over here. Um, the Ray Dunn sugar and creamer. I just turned everything backwards so you wouldn't see any of the letters. So in this shelf here, I just put some rosemary. I trimmed it off one of the plants I have. And then this little teacup I picked up when I did a craft fair. Somebody was selling these and it's just a white false craft teacup. But they put some like moss in it with a little reindeer in a tree. And I just thought that was really cute. And it happens to be the same as my false graph pieces that I've just found thrifting. And then down here, I have my pitcher, another little stack of white dishes, an Ikea cutting board. I put some of my putts sheep down here. And then those little things in the corner, they're just tags off of a hearth and hand wreath. I'm going to make a like a small dog tag necklace with it, but I just have them sitting there for now. So in the center, I put the bigger ironstone pieces. So on the top one, it's just those two and the putt sheep. In the center, I have another tureen. And then this smaller one, which I put some fake greens and some mercury glass bulbs in. And then same thing down here. Now coming over to the other side, I put all my mini pictures in here. And then I just went ahead, the greenery back there is from Hearth and Hand. That's just a little clipping. These are some spoons that I picked up also at that craft fair. Somebody was selling real silver. And these are monograms, which I think makes them even cooler. So I just liked the tarnish on them. So I stuck them in there. And then here's where I put some of my vintage Santas. I felt like it went okay with the white and the green. So I've got my Holt Howard pitcher, and I got that at a consignment store for $7, and then the mugs, they go with it. And then up here, I kind of kept it with the mid-century thing, and I went with the jadeite type cake stand. I put some Santa mugs in it. That's a Be Merry sign. It was originally from the Target dollar spot, but I picked it up at the same consignment store that I got that pitcher. And then these are the little Santa light bulb covers that I found in the Goodwill bins. And I just thought they looked really cool all grouped together in a mason jar. And then next to the hutch over here I have my stockings. I don't have a mantle and I didn't get to making one this year. I just got so busy. So I hung mine on a ladder and I do have a DIY coming up for this. So if you're interested in making one it is so cheap and easy. And I'll show you guys how I did that. And then the last space I have decorated in here are just these little cubby shelves. So in the first one, just a little Santa mug, a black rolling dog, and a vintage ornament hanger box. And then up here, another Santa mug, and another ornament hanging box. So now I'm gonna take you guys into the bedroom and show you what I did in there, because I like to kind of carry it throughout the house. So when you come in, the first thing you see I just stuffed some of my vintage ornaments in the base of my lamp here and I put it on some green books for Christmas. Next to it I have a little tree and that was also from Michael's Black Friday sale. I think it was like two dollars and change after all the discounts. And then on the wall here I have the vintage skis that were my grandfather's. And I put those up every Christmas and then I leave them up through the winter and then I just put a wreath over top. And that's the one from the Salvation Army with all the, like, the juniper berries and things in it. So over here on the window, I hung up a garland and I'm going to get closer so you guys can see this. This is one of the ones I picked up at Michael's on Black Friday and this is one of my favorite garlands ever. So it's got some pine cones in it and it's got some different tones of green but there is no glitter on this and there's no flocking so it really looks like a branch I just cut from the yard it looks so realistic you guys I don't know if you're gonna see it as much on camera 
but it's originally like 30 something and then half off and then an additional 30 so I ended up paying like $10 for these when it was all said and done and I have a few more coming in the mail that I went home and ordered more because I liked them so much um, and then I did the same thing here in the window boxes just put some greens from outside and actually you can probably see here I got lazy and left the boxwood in and just kind of tucked it around the boxwood I figured that's kind of Christmassy too so and then I've got my little candles going I put a tree on my husband's nightstand um, just to kind of spruce it up a little bit at the bottom of the bed I have this Ikea throw and it's all wrinkly now because I just stood on it to show you guys the garland but this was the Tuvali and it was like 12 bucks but it's like the perfect deep red color for Christmas and then over here is another one of my favorite areas this is my Santa collection so I just put this on top of the dresser and I used my Pepsi crate for this uh, I had to build little little boxes to go inside to kind of elevate them and then I have my window behind it my cross stitch from a local consignment store and then I'm just gonna hang here for a minute and let you guys kind of look I will put some music on in the background when I stop talking that way it's not silent but just an idea you can see all the Santas Okay, so over here on the other dresser, I only did a few things. This is the Magnolia inspired snowballs that I made. And I just have them there with some of the twinkle lights still tucked into them. And then over here, my Santas. And these are ones that are handmade from one of those patterns I'm thinking like where you buy the pre-printed fabric. But I got these at my local Salvation Army and they were like a quarter a piece. And I just love those guys. And then a little snow globe here that my husband got for me. And then because I was wanting a tree in the bedroom so bad, I was going to do the flocked one that I showed you guys, but that turned out to be a disaster. It just kept shedding and my dog kept eating the snow. So that went outside on the porch and I just stuck with this little guy. And I picked this up at an Ollie's type store years ago. But what I like about it is the inside is actually like wood. Uh, it's not like a metal thing. So even when you see through, it looks kind of cool. And that's just sitting in a metal basket that I got from my grandparents. And I liked that it still had the labels on. Originally, I was going to turn it backwards, but then I kind of thought it added to it. So I left it just like that. And that's just a single strand of lights from Walmart. They were like $2.30. And it covered the whole tree perfectly. So leading into the kitchen, I just have a little mistletoe piece hanging here. And this is a fake one because real mistletoe is dangerous to dogs and I know if something fell, my guy would eat it. So coming into the kitchen, I've just got a dish towel with a Christmassy theme. And then I have all these little wreaths I hung on the cabinet doors. These two are the hearth and hand ones, like the actual ones from the store. The other ones are the ones that I DIY'd. And if you didn't see that video, be sure to check it out. And then above the sink here in this little window, I hung some fake cedar. And I got this from Factory Direct Crafts. They sold out of it shortly after because I was going to go back and get another one. It's so realistic looking. And then on a, the wall above that, I have my Christmas trees for sale sign. And I did a DIY on that last year. And this modeled after the one that Joanna Gaines has in her kitchen. And then coming down in the window here, for right now I just have it really simple. I've got four mercury glass balls hanging and these are from I think Home Goods last year. And then in the center I just put my vintage kitchen scale. The wooden box is from H&M and then some greenery and those tea light candles. Now coming over here, 
Normally I have some vintage dog food containers on this shelf and I just went ahead and put a cheese box in there with some bottle brush trees and then another Santa mug. And then over here in the coffee bar area, I kept it simple over here too. The lighting over here isn't great so I'm sorry for that. Up here I just switched out one of the pictures for this little Christmas tree sign. This was a TJ Maxx find from a couple years ago. I put in some Christmas themed mugs, so I have my Mr. and Mrs. Claus, my Nutcracker one which my husband found for me, and then I have the ones with plaid that my mom found for me. And then in a couple of them I put some of that hearth and hand greenery, because it fits perfectly in a mug. And here on the windowsill I just have a candy cane sign, and I think I might try and put like a Santa mug with little candy canes in it eventually, and a candle. This I kept super simple too, I just did a wooden tray and then I put the plaid one in with my sugar container and I switched out the curtain, I went to a red and white grain sack looking one and I'm going to be putting a garland up there and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek, this is going to be an upcoming DIY, I am working on a gingerbread man garland, so that will be coming soon. So now if we come over here on this other wall in the kitchen I've got my shelving and you guys saw this little bell that was from Michael's. The Christmas snow box is from Restor Restoration Hardware, I think. That's one of the trees from TJ Maxx last year. Those are from Walmart last year. They're like a, uh, a reproduction of the Left and Reindeer mugs. And these are my Santa mugs that I can actually drink out of. I did find a new set at a consignment store a few years ago. Below that I just have a little wire basket with some greenery, a wooden snowflake, some vintage boxes and beads. Below that I have one of my roly-poly Santas in a tree, and then on the very bottom I have my roly-poly Santa and Mrs. Claus. I hung my hearth and hand apron on the back of the door here because I feel like the plaid is kind of Christmassy and neat looking. And then I just swapped out my grain sack for this Christmas print that looks kind of chalkboardy. So that's what I've done in the kitchen. I've done a few things in the bathroom, so I'll show you guys that too. So I'm going to turn the light on. The fan's going to make noise, but... Alright, so in the bathroom here on this little shelf, I used one of the Target dollar spot signs. That red berry tree came from Target so many years ago. And then this here is just a wooden box with some faux greenery. And wooden boxes are one of those things, anytime I see them at a yard sale or anything, I pick them up if they're a good price because you can use them in so many ways. So then I've got the larger version of that hearth and hand DIY wreath on the windows in here. And I do need to put something above the windows because they just feel so empty. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of a garland draping over it. And then here is that little Christmas tree greenhouse, and I've got it all lit up finally. And then in this window I have the candle and another hearth and hand DIY wreath. So that's the inside of my house, you guys. I want to take you out on the porches now and show you what I did outside. So out here in the back I had so much fun. On the door I just added a wreath. And those are the skis from Target Dollar Spot. I'm sure everybody has seen those by now. So over here, I had this wooden sign. And I picked this up at a local consignment store. I've showed it in a haul before. And I just added some fresh greens. So outside, I was really excited that I got to use fresh greens. Here I have a bench. And this came from my grandpa's basement. I just cleaned it up a little bit so it would fit out here good. With a little lap blanket. And then underneath is that crate that I picked up also at a local consignment store. And again, I put some fresh greens in it. And I had so much fun picking those. I just went out in the woods and I cut things down. And uh, it was really a lot of fun. So over here on the other side, I have the copper boiler. And I put my flocked Walmart tree in that. And I couldn't keep this inside because the snow kept falling off and my dog kept eating it. So it's out here with some solar lights. And then next to it is just a 
bushel basket and I tucked some greens into that guy too. And then from out here, you can see the window box. And that's how the greens look from outside. So this is what I did in the back. I'm gonna take you guys around to the front now. So here we are in the front and I went for a sleigh riding and hot cocoa theme. Um, I just put right now just a plain wreath on the door. And I love the new color with the reeds. They really just pop with it. So on this little table here, I have my tobacco basket with some fresh greens. And this is just something I printed off the internet a few years ago. Underneath, I still have my birch logs in a basket. And then I have my stocking from a local consignment store that says Ted. And I just love that. And then I moved the little table over here with a little hot chocolate set up. And then the other side is where I went ahead with the sleigh riding theme. So I've got that bench that I just threw together and it's not something you can actually sit on, it's more just for looks. This sled I picked up at an auction and kind of refinished it and just hung some ice skates on it. Those I picked up at Salvation Army for like a dollar. This one over here I picked up at a yard sale. And this one over here I got from my grandparents. And then I went ahead and just put some greenery and some crocs here. So that greenery is real, that's more that I picked from the woods. And that is my Walmart olive basket. And then these two are just some crocs. And that's actually last year's Target dollar spot trees. I grouped three together and stuck them inside of each one. So it looks kind of like a bushy little tree. But yeah, that's what I did on my front porch here. So I want to thank you guys for coming along with me on my home tour. Be sure to check out everybody else that's participating in this collaboration. I'll see you guys in the next video.